Hi, everyone. About a minute on my latest piece on Substack. It's called Untransformed. I'm writing about transformer shortages. Yes, there is a big shortage of transformers all across the country. Uh, the pole-mounted transformers that you see on wood poles, pad-mounted transformers, but it's not just transformers. All kinds of uh, things, what we call utility products. So uh, conductors, that's wire, uh, wood poles, all of these things are soaring in price. Last year alone, the prices for all of those uh, utility products according to Resco, the Rural Electric Supply Cooperative, went up 18%. And the year before that, they went up uh, 14%. So we've seen prices for these utility products go up by about a third in just two years. What does this mean for you? It means electricity prices are going to go a lot higher. It also shows that this push to electrify everything, which you've heard about uh, a lot. Uh, this includes the bans on natural gas stoves, uh, uh, pushing for electric vehicles. All these electric vehicles, all these efforts to electrify transportation, they're going to require lots of wire, lots of cable, uh, new transformers, new new uh, high voltage transmission. All of that stuff is going to cost a lot of money. And all of that hardware, all of it across the board is soaring in price. And one of the other key points that I make is that there are new federal regulations um, that are aimed at increasing the efficiency of transformers. These are new rules that are proposed by the Department of Energy under the Biden administration. They're very minor increases in efficiency, but they could disrupt the entire supply chain uh, for the manufacturers that are building these uh, transformers, uh, including the production of a specialty steel called grain-oriented steel. Um, it's an important story. I, I encourage you to check it out. It's on my Substack. Uh, have a read. Robert Bryce. Substack. Com. Thanks a lot. See you.